Oh, there's a delay. Testing one, I've, two. Testing. I feel it coming down the pipeline. Are we live yet? It's like feeling a log coming through your like your system, ready to exit your hole. It didn't start? Nope. Not yet. What the fuck? Does it say live on yours? Yeah. It says live on your actual YouTube channel? No. Oh, wait. We're live. 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 See, you guys are messing with me. No, we weren't live. We are now, though. Yes. All right. So I want to start off the pre-show with a huge moment of gratitude to Living Hints. Another generous donation, which it's totally unnecessary, but I appreciate it so much. $100. $100. That's a treat. That's all I'm going to say. So thank you very much, Living Hints, for the generous donation. If it's unnecessary, why don't you refund it back to him? Yep. It says we've been live. <laughs> I'll, I'll refund it back to him, no problem. Thank you, Mark. Hey. Mark, you were in chat trying to get him to send the money to you personally. Just because it'd be easier if it went through me and then I split it up between us three. It's usually easier if you just pay me directly. Hmm. hmm. Is the audio good? Somebody just said they can't hear Mark. I hope not. I don't know what's going on around here. Mark, you've been messing uh, with your audio too much lately. Let me check. Reaper, you you can suck it. How's that? Yeah. That'll make you vomit if you suck it. No, we're good. Whenever someone says they can't hear me, I don't believe them. What they should tell me is I can hear you loud and clear. Then I know. Uh, look who's back. Look who got some money back in their account. There we go. Good old Southern Comfort. $2. Save these <laughs> chats and interrupt Mark's buffet. Well, somebody said they can't see us, so why don't we do this and do a 20-minute intro, shall we? Let's do it. My buddy. My buddy. My buddy and me. We haven't started buffets yet, you piece of shit. Thanks for that $2, though. <laughs> Greg said audio is awful. I can hear Mark. <laughs> I think Southern might be drunk tonight. Another two hours to interrupt my buffet that hasn't even started yet. Thank you. Another two dollars from Southern to interrupt Mark's buffet. You're gonna blow your whole Mark. The intro is going. Your whole week's paycheck. Ignition. We are live, 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 live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the vape team, the motherfucking great team, Cloudy Entertainment. For that ass, it is 269. It mm. seems to be less than the True Vapor show, but trust me, there's a lot of shenanigans going on with those numbers over there, and uh, I don't know. I wouldn't trust them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the show is Trick or Treat, because obviously it's the week of Halloween, and uh, we have a great show for you planned this evening, and once again, I want to thank Living Hints for the amazing uh, donation for 100 bucks, and uh, it's totally generous, and uh, thank you, so I appreciate it. Um, with me, as always... He doesn't really need an introduction, but he does go by many names. And we all know these names. You guys can say them along with me. We've done it for so many shows. Each one of them has a specific impact that's necessary to describe this man. Mr. Matchy Matchy, the matchstick man, the third lung, the iron lung, the Greek god of modern vaping, Mount Olympus, ladies and gentlemen, the king of clouds, the cloud commander, Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Sid, Sorry. chat, Sorry. Felix, Paul, Carlos, Robert, Jason. And we also have the man behind the dirty rag that looks like he took it from a restaurant kitchen, Mark. It looks like a shit rag. It's definitely dirty, I'll tell you that. It smells like all types of e liquid. Thank you. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. 
Uh, we're going to kick off tonight's show with a little buffet action. We have a couple different little things planned this evening. But uh, let's do a little buffet. Mark, what are you vaping on? Are we going to get through uh, Southern's buffet or uh, donation so you can interrupt my buffet? I have no idea what you're talking about. $30 to not let Mark do a buffet at all. If I get that thirty dollars, you're not you getting. First of all, you're not getting anything. That's a definite. <laughs> all right, so we got a two dollar donation from Southern Comfort. Thirty dollars to not let Mark do the buffet. What else are you vaping on, Mark? Uh, uh, thank Southern Comfort. Two dollars. He's saving them douche canoe. BTFC out of focus. And uh, Southern Comfort again. Two dollars. Interrupt Mark's buffet. Vaporesso. Another Southern Comfort. Two dollars. Interrupt Mark's buffet. Geek vape. And another. Two dollars. Interrupt Mark's buffet from Southern Comfort. What is this? Uh, World Kit, World Tank, World Mod, World Juice, Juices. We have the new and another uh, Southern Comfort. Two dollars. Save these chats and interrupt Mark's buffet. He's not even donating anymore. <laughs> Paradigm. I don't know what is it called. Zook. Does anyone know what the hell a Zook is? There you go. We got some Zook. We got some very last, as you can see there. Of some looper. Vaping and funeral director, two dollars. Mark Fagan, POTUS twenty twenty. Hamish Bowley, five dollars. Happy birthday, Mikey. Grand. Mark check for toilet paper. Brian big hugs. Big hugs there to you. There you go. I think that's it. At what least that's all that I'm being paid to vape because I don't even vape. We don't even know what you're vaping on right now. And am I checking? Uh, uh, Southern Convert, two dollars. Interrupt Mark's buffet. Hold on. I gear I know there has to I've been sitting half the day, and I felt like there was a bump in my ass, like I had a hemorrhoid. What do you know? Ooh, god damn. Mark, that Ooh. is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. You never just keep, Who does like, that? You never just keep toilet paper in your ass to soak up, like... No, I don't, because I actually shower every day, and I, I'm not wet down there. Mike, do you do that? No, it's fucking nasty. Does your butthole leak? My, oh. my asshole leaks. Call Angela in, please. She's, no, she doesn't want to hear this. She'll never have sex with me again if she finds out. I don't even understand. She's an angel. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it is ridiculous. We got another $2 <laughs> from Southern Comfort. Interrupt Mark's buffet, even though we're done. <sighs> <sighs> well, I hope nobody is watching the show having dinner. I know a lot of people nowadays have TVs in their in their living room that are connected to the internet with these smart TVs. I sound like an old man saying that. These people have dinner in their living rooms with these smart TVs. Um, but, you know, they have tables that come up and they have dinner. Don't watch this show if you're eating dinner or maybe even breakfast if you're across the pond um, because you might vomit when you're eating. That's all I have to say. Uh, what am I vaping on? It's my turn, I think. Yes? For the right amount of money, I will wi wipe my ass right now on camera, and I guarantee you there'll be shit on it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a right. devin. <laughs> <laughs> Southern Cover, $2 interrupt Mark's story. Uh. <laughs> All right, so what am I vaping on? I, I got a little throwback tonight. Uh, could everybody smell what you think that smells like right now? I'm having, like, smell-o-vision. Um, Craven Vapor. Whoa. Look at that. Dude, let me tell you something. This mod was and is awesome still to this day. It's fucking amazing. And look what's on top. Recurve. Dual. And oh, wait, it's got a battery, and it's firing. And it's got liquid in it. Awesome. What else do I got? Oh, in stock right now. Running out very quickly. Hit that juice. Dot com. Check this out. Intake. Mouth to lung. They're going to be out of stock quick. I think there's only gunmetal in, right, Mike? I th yeah, there's a couple of stainless steel left and gunmetal. All the black went like that. Awesome. I got more coming. Uh, Dakota Simon, two ninety nine. Mark, I'm mailing you a new rag, you son of a bitch. He, dude, his <laughs> rag is fraying. Ooh. It's actually like you can see the threads coming apart. Come on, Mark. And this is only after like three days of over. Look at it, it's disgusting. Is that what you wipe your face with that? Hell no. I wipe my ass with it on my face. Ugh, it's disgusting. It looks like a dirty grease rag. It does look disgusting. I know. Uh, Southern Comfort, two dollars, twenty dollars for Mark to wipe for the first time all week. That's probably true, and that's disgusting. Also, mm -hmm. um, I got that yo, broken back out again. Check this out, billet box. Whoa! Yes, but not just the billet box. Is that the three F vape special? Truss 
in the billet box. The beautiful truss, the brand new truss, uh, signature mods, Dovpo, hashtag Mr. Just Right One. And uh, yeah, they're available for pre-order right now at Signature Mods, Mods website. If you go to Signature Mods on Facebook, there's a link. And you can also, if you're from the U.S., you can get it from Joel directly, hashtag Mr. Just Right One. And uh, there's some sort of a form link on the website from Signature Mods. So you can check that out. But yeah, the trust. And I'm also vaping on the Aegis Boost Plus. And that heavy hitter with an RDA for vaping on top. And I got a whole bunch of liquids tonight. I got more liquids than I actually have vapor devices. <laughs> I got the Quesitos Mango, Fogging Out with the Batman, Sabor Estan Encanto. I also have the delicious Joe Turner Royal Vanilla Swirl, royalvapesiom.com. There we go, Royal Vanilla Swirl. And I'm gonna save this, but I'll give you a little, little test. Brand new Zook. Can't see it because of the green screen. Supercharger. Vanilla Mint. And we got a whole bunch more. We're actually going to be sampling these tonight on the show and give you a rundown on this new Zook line. So that's what I'm vaping on. Paradigm Zook. Mike, take it away. Uh, yes. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Vape Vermont. I'm not sure if you saw my presentation video. The screws are reverse threaded. Thank you. Yes. The opposite way. I struggle you look on the that. build deck, there's little arrows telling you which way to unscrew it. <laughs> Mike, what did I do when I, when I had a problem? You did the same thing he did. He said he's been trying to crank it down. He says that they're locked in. He can't unscrew them. The good news, though, is the post screws are so strong and well built that I didn't strip anything. Yes, well, that's the thing. I mentioned that in a video, too. I don't usually like Phillips heads, but I wanted to make sure these were deep socket ones that won't strip. So they did a pretty good job with the screws. So anyway... Good evening, Greg, Sid, Chat, Steve, Terry, Red. All right, I'm vaping on a Nunu. I got the Chroma Z, some Nunu from Inikin. Ooh, look at that. Chroma Z thingy right there. Inside that, we got Zook. I got Zook uh, Vanilla Mint inside the, there, the Zook. Oh, Zook should be on. Hit that juice very soon, by the way. Anyway, I'm also vaping on another Nunu. A Blast from the Past remake. The Segeli 213 Fog Edition. Look at that. This one here is the limited edition one. It's suede. This is actual suede on here. Yeah, buddy. Intake Duel. And inside that, I have some New York. Bam. PKG New York. Also vaping on the intake MTL on the mix. And I got some Chicago and that. Vaping on the Ascent DNA 75C. Squape Arise. New York also, right? Is it New York in there? I don't remember what I have in here. Fuck. And I need to charge that battery. Yep, New York inside that. Also vaping on another Nunu. Boom. We got the Tallow XRDA from Geek Vape on the Clutch LE. Yeah, buddy. Inside this one here, I have another Zook. I got the, what is this? Golden Vanilla. We got Golden Vanilla Zook inside that. Also vaping on, and I've been really enjoying this device right here, the Gaia. Dual 21700 mod, intake dual with some Joe Mother F and Turner Raspberry Custard. Uh, I think that's the buffet. That's what I'm vaping on today. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Say, Thank you. Steve. Looks like Signature Chips is Living in chat. Hands. Shake. Shake. Uh, any idea, Shake, when the... Uh, well, I guess you could check on, on the uh, Facebook group. But I know that pre-orders are available right now for the truss. So if you guys are looking to pick up a truss, if you have a billet box and you're looking to get an awesome, awesome product for your billet box, it's sweet as shit, the truss. Yep. Yeah, I, I said it last time. I regret getting rid of the billet box now. I, I knew that I would have. Here we go. Anyway. Fla flavor's on point. Smooth. <clears throat> anyway. 
Did you guys uh, get your uh, Anakin Chroma Z thing? I did not get the Anakin Chroma Z. Mark no? did. Mark did. I didn't open it. I think Amy needs to reach out to Anakin. That's weird. You should have got it today. I, I never got the custom logo to other things either. I got like two things. I got the Chroma Z and the Endora M18. I'm not a reviewer though, so you know. Is that what's in the other box? Uh, Vape Vermont, $10. That worked for me, Mike. I feel a little dumb, but thanks a lot. I totally felt dumb too, Vape Vermont. That's all right, man. That's that's, that's all good. Uh, I, I didn't get that one, Endora. I actually got two of these. I got a Chroma Z in a box too. One of these sets. Ooh, this does look nice. Yeah. But uh, I'm surprised they didn't send me the Endora. I got the Endora last week. Scott Zegans, oh, okay. yo yo yo, four ninety nine. Thank you so much, Scotty Z. And uh, he said, yo yo yo, fam. Yo yo yo, fam. Yo yo yo. Yo yo yo. I had to do it in a Scotty Z voice. Oh, uh, Scott. Sorry, I know you messaged me earlier, but I've been so busy, and I wanted to message you back, and I totally forgot. I was driving when I saw it. Grim likes it more than a Caliber and G. I'd hope so, because it's not like the Caliburn G. It's something like totally different. It's Bigger. good. Is that like a rubber finish on there, Mark? The Endora. This is like a leather, well, like a carbon fiber, fake leather kind of feel. And then this is like a well, kind of a rubbery matte finish. You know what? This mod is like, it looks like the other mods that have been coming out, right? Yeah. But Inika did this on another mod. Notice the fire button. Where is it? It's the display. I love that. Yeah. And it's got also this little thing here that you turn. Oh, is that airflow a slider? Control. Airflow control. Yeah. Sweet. We got a donation, Mike, from Ed Barkley, $20. He said, hey, hey Mike. Mike. Oh, prop go No, go ahead. It's to you. No, you, you. It's go to ahead. you. Hey, Mike, props to Alex, your customer service guy. Placed an order yesterday and ordered the wrong item. Asked if I could swap it out, and Alex responded, no problem. Five stars, my friend. Happy belated birthday. Yes, Ed, I know exactly which order you're talking about because he hooked you up, messaged me, and I swapped it out for you. Thank you. Thank you. Living Hints. Uh California, two dollars and seventy-two cents. Says, <laughs> love the idea of being better for all, Bry. This is so light. I didn't even know there was bat it had an internal battery. It's pretty Anthony light. Anthony Koch, super light. Email me. What's up, Mark? So this thing is so light. I didn't realize there's a battery in it. Dude, this is a three thousand milliamp hour battery. It doesn't wow. feel like there's a battery in it. I know. I, wonder I was why trying it's to so figure out how to open it. I'm like, holy shit, there's a battery. Hmm. What are you opening up now, Mark? I can't open it. It has an oh. internal battery. Check this shit out. But it feels like that it doesn't have an internal battery. And it can like always manages to make their mods super lightweight like that. Or the batteries they use are super lightweight, one or the other. So check this out. This is the new... Sigeli Humvee 80 watt mod. Mm. And it looks like everyone's doing it. Magnetic. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. <laughs> They're all doing it. But check this out. You see the door on there? Mm -hmm. So they sent me all their doors. Look at these suede Humvee doors. That's pretty sweet. Pretty nice. uh, look, two more suede ones here. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, another suede one there. The blue. And. Ooh, that red one looks nice. So they went all out and just sent me like every door they make with the mod. Fucking crazy. But uh, look at that. I think it's big. It is pretty big for a single. Yeah, no. It reminds me a lot of the Aegis. It's a, I think it's a, it's a, no, it's an eighteen six fifty. Is it really? Big, yeah, big waste because there's so much dead space. They could have made a twenty one seven hundred in there. 
That's an 18650. It's pretty big for an 18. Yeah, it is. The doors look uh, sexy as hell. What's that? The doors look sexy. Yeah, no, the mod itself feels nice in the hand, too. It's, I like it. Hmm. Very nice. I like the suede doors. And this one here, the suede. Yes, that's the one. The Segele. Uh, that's a throwback, baby. Yeah. <clears throat> but this would have looked nice if they would have made this. I don't know if they're making suedes in other colors, but the blue. Mm. The blue suede or this. Actually, no, I would have actually preferred that. Is that the gray? Mm. Oh. That red one is tight looking. Yeah, that's the gray. Where's the battery door on that one? On the bottom. On the bottom, yeah. Yep. But it's just, it's the 213. But with updated uh, chipset. Yeah. Which everybody loved when the 213 came out. That was like one of the most popular mods of that era. Yeah, that was a really good mod. I used that mod a lot. I even remember when I, the one trip I went to Cancun with the wifey, I had that with me. I brought the, remember I had the, uh, the 213 and the engine RTA I brought with me on that trip. I, I used the 213 a lot, man. I, I really enjoyed that mod. When I saw this, I was like, ooh, baby, they brought it back. And I like the suede. The suede feels real nice in the hand. Shit. I like it. There's the the Anakin M18, and then there's the whatever that was called again. I forgot. The Scepter. The Scepter. You can see it's a lot thinner than the <laughs> Yes, it is a lot thinner. Ooh, it looks nice, though. Yeah. I don't have a problem with them releasing old school styled products with updated chipsets. Yeah. I think it's cool. I think it's like throwbacks, like a new pair of shoes that are old school shoes like retro. Mm -hmm. No, I have no problem too. The mod was awesome. Like I said, I I really enjoyed the mod. So to have a, a new chipset in there and the suede, well, they're not all going to be suede. This is a, I guess the suede ones are limited edition ones. Mark, you have the regular one on hand, right? Actually, I have it here, too. Yeah, we're, yeah, I do. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah, I got it right here. So the regular one is going to come, I guess, with the uh, same idea like Vupu. They're, they're, everyone's going after Vupu. So it's got this uh, where you screw it down, the sub ohm tank. But it's one of magnetic connection. So that way you can use regular atomizers. Yeah. And that atomizer. The black is nice, too. It looks nice, but the suede definitely pops better. Yeah. No question. See, I like I like the suede, but the colors on these, I think with the gray suede, it would look sick. Or a black suede. Yeah, man. Now, if they do have... I got to do some investigating. If they do have a gray suede or a black suede... I'm definitely, I'll definitely go out and buy one. Definitely buy one. Uh, folks in chat, please, you don't need to tell me how great of a builder I am. I kind of already know this. I've been doing this for years, so I can do build. I could do a coil build, my eyes closed. What did you build? The, uh, whatever it's called from Geek Fape. Oh, you did a build video? Yep. So uh, for people out there, if you want to see a real build video my video for the tallow x is going up tomorrow thank you <laughs> uh, that bill i did on there was just oh it was bad we got Sorry, a Brian. donation from jack mehoff uh twenty dollars <laughs> and he said my secret squirrel entry for i guess that's for mark we got it jack mehoff there we go. that name will never get old that's like the best name jack mehoff uh, oh, i contacted uh Og Vape. And I asked them, you know what? I want, I want to know what's the minimum amount of uh, black intake duels you can make. Because I was gonna, if they would have said they could make me like a hundred pieces, I would have ordered them. I guess I got so many people asking me for black intake duels. They're idiots. That's what I'm saying. They stopped production on that too early. So they told me all oh, two thousand pieces. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Hope that ain't happening. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, right, Brian? Yeah, I was, I was reading a ch um, something in chat. Mike, why do you think they do that when they stop production, when it, when things are still moving like they do? Do you think they're just trying to make room for the next thing they're putting out? 
No, it, it's that uh, all sites, they're only buying stuff once. Once they sell, they don't restock it. They do not want to get with the leftover stock. Hmm. So that's kind of messed up. I mean, because they There's don't they kind of figure that like everyone has bought it and gone through it and I mean, no one else is going to buy it, I guess. If that's the case, then why am I still selling? Every time I get them, I can't keep them in stock. And everyone, we're getting tons and tons of emails for Black and Take Duels. I mean, I'm just guessing that's why companies don't buy a second run. Well, and it's upsetting for the company, too, because they don't want to have just a 30-day or 60-day run. They want to have a long-term run with the product they release. So it sucks that, you know, all the wholesale and, and distros and things are not picking more up. It's too early. And uh, the other question is, Mike, what about people and Mark, too? What, like, everyone has that one thing that they absolutely love, like their go to all day RDA or all day vape or all day, you know, sub ohm tank or all day setup. What about the people that are attached to that and all of a sudden, poof, it's gone forever and they can't get another one when that one breaks down over time? You know how many people have bought? I know that because I see the messages, everything. There's people that have bought like three or four. Of them, they'll even they have on on the side also, just in case. I did that with the engine. I had like six engines. Yeah. With the intake dual, I have a bunch of them that are just mine. And yes, I do have a couple of black intake duals, which I'm not getting rid of. So don't message me asking me for them. But I do have two brand new ones in the box that are mine because I can't even get them again. You know, it's, which sucks. Ricky makes a good point. He says, I could see when they come out with rebuildables like every day, but lately, since there's not that much coming out, they should make more of a certain, you know, each product. I don't know. But they did have a bunch of gun medals. I, I have gun medals. So if anybody wants a gun medal intake duels, I do have them on the site. Uh, yes, Puff, Mr. Puff Donny, 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 is that what it is? Puff Donny Puff? I need the intake dual XL already. I'm waiting for prototypes. This this is a good one, Mike. Uh, hashtag Mr. Just Right One. He said, "Happy birthday, Mike." Oh, thank you, man. Why don't we get a happy birthday going in chat for Mr. Mike Vapes? That's too late now. Oh, happy it's birthday. not too late now. Birthday. Happy, birthday birthday happy birthday to you. Happy, you. Birthday, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Dear Mike, happy, happy birthday, birthday to, you. to you. I know you hate that. <laughs> love you, Mike. Love you too, man. Yep. Thank you. Yep, or if, if you love a product that much, when you first get it, buy a few of them if you, if you have the funds to do so. So you got backups. Yep. Uh, Steve Thompson says he's thinking of getting a do- uh, Steve, I think I have like two or three left. I think it's two two blue intake singles and those are like the last i don't think there's even any more available not 100 percent sure but i don't think aug vape even has any more stock of that we'll see all right let's do some liquid testing because we got a whole bunch of stuff to go over on the agenda tonight what do you guys think a little liquid testing lick it up lick it up liquid liquid i'm already preloaded because i've been using the two vanillas once i opened them up I'm good. I've tried three out of the four. Oh, you've already. I have. I've only tried one, so I have to catch up. I've had the, the liquids for a few days now. All right, so I'm gonna start with the golden vanilla Zook slingshot. Southern Comfort, two dollars. Happy birthday, Mike. Thank you, Mister Comfort. Golden vanilla. And thank you, everyone in chat. Let's try this. For those that don't know, this is a brand new line from Paradigm. Metal. Oh, sorry. You doing the right one, or are you doing a different one? My special? No, I'm doing the same one. Which one are you doing? Vanilla? Yeah, vanilla, I'm going yeah. to do the vanilla. A uh, Christian, it's a uh, metal frame. Aluminum. Southern Comfort FU Mark, $2. FU Mark. Thank you, you fucking $2 donating son of a bitch. You could take that $2 and shove it up your ass. I'll fucking sodomize you. Da, da, da. These are the ones that I've been vaping on today. These are delicious. Dude, golden vanilla is bomb. Yeah, they're really good. Really sweet, really good. 
Wow. I haven't done the mint just because I don't I don't t- do anything mint. Mint is just just disgusting to me. Food, drinks, e-liquid doesn't matter. I can't do mint. What did you think of the golden vanilla, Mike? I like it. It's good. That's how they're making it. It's good stuff. Really good. Not too sweet. I, I wow. <laughs> this is going to Mike, by the way. This is Living Hints, one hundred dollars. Happy birthday, Mister Samios. He said Stamios. <laughs> Any relation to uh, Stamos? Yes, uh, Mister. What is it? What was his first name? Uh, John Stamos. Any John relation? Stamos. Thank you, Living Hints. That's going to be forwarded to Mike for his birthday. No question about that. Mark, if it was to you for your birthday, nothing. <laughs> you get nothing because you owe me and Mike like fucking thousands. <laughs> thousands yep. of dollars. We still never got that money from Mark, right? No. Nope. Like 1500 each? Yep. On my end, it says it's been cashed. So we're good. All right. Two hours more than I do on Not Another Vape Show. Thank you, you piece of shit. You can read that, uh, Mark. Karen's asking if it's just vanilla. It's called Golden Vanilla. Uh, do you taste any? What do you taste in there? I taste like a golden, like a cookie-ish type of flavor. Right. It's got a cookie, definitely. It's like a vanilla cookie. To me, it's kind of like a, kind of like a chocolate chip cookie with vanilla. I'm getting no. more. No. There's no chocolate, but I'm just like or, the... or like a birthday cake vanilla. No, you get a slight cookie. Yeah. There's a cookie yeah. with vanilla. But the cookie is not overpowering. It's a slight cookie, more of the vanilla. Southern Comfort, two dollars, two dollars more than I do on Nabs. There we go. You are way behind. I read that an hour ago. Oh, did you? Yep. All right. So the other flavor, the other one of the other flavors is called Banger, Zook Banger, and this is a sweet vanilla cinnamon. That one's good too. Sweet vanilla cinnamon, which I love that flavor. I've been mixing those two together. Let's give this a run. You know what? I'm going to (laughs) try. Yeah, Matt. It's got that swirl flavor. So what's good is that I started off with the vanilla in the RDA. Now if I drip the cinnamon over it, Mm. it's fine because it's both vanilla. I'm going to try some of this out right now. It does have kind of a golden Oreo flavor, not total golden Oreo, but definitely like a yeah, like a vanilla wafer. Yeah, that's a good good way to put it. Vanilla wafer. Yeah. Well, considering Nilla Killa is like one of their premium flavors that everyone loves, I'm sure that maybe it's got some things in there that. Yeah, like a golden Oreo. Yeah. yeah. So my question is, I, I always wondered this. So why do companies? Rather than just adding flavors to their current line, why do they make new lines? Is there any reason for that? Just to do something different, I guess, or what? Cinnamon is bomb. Cinnamon is bomb. They, they did it good because they didn't overpower it with cinnamon. It's just that touch of cinnamon with the vanilla. Yep. That's that's good the way they did it. And tell me that's not a perfect seasonal vape, Mike, for this time of year. No, it's good. Cinnamon is good. It tastes like a cloudy holiday. <laughs> this is even good too. The vanilla. They all. They all actually. Actually, I tried the. This one, the blueberry one. I mean, the blackberry one is nice too. I haven't tried that one yet. Out of all of them, that's my least favorite one. <coughs> but it's good. Okay, so this is called Zook Decked, and this is uh, vanilla blackberry crumble. Vanilla blackberry crumble. Vape and Bachelor, two dollars. I'll pay someone to take these bulks out of my house. <laughs> I'll take them off your hands for a couple dollars. <laughs> Don't you already have like a whole bedroom full of them? Yes, but if he's, if he's paying, yeah. If you if you're into the Nilla Killer line, like from Paradigm, you're gonna love the Zook, Zook or Zook, whatever it's called. Yeah. For me, my my favorite ones right now have to be ooh. I think the vanilla mint is my number one. Is it? I'm really enjoying the vanilla mint is number one. Cinnamon is like right there at number two. 
but they could go either way. The cinnamon ones is delicious. Then the regular golden vanilla, and then the blackberry. All right. Mark, you can read that. Good old SR, uh, bon, I can't even, bon Traeger. I'm not even going to try it. I figured out why Mark is shutting down Not Another Vape Show. Everyone finds it more worthwhile to do Super Chats here. So what are you saying? He's you, only in it for the money? That's what I'm saying. You cheap son of a bitch. Uh -huh. uh, Nick McMahon, the cinnamon. name of the cinnamon is cinnamon. Sweet vanilla cinnamon, it's called. Oh, no, it's called Banger. Zook. Oh, there's, the names are right under Zook. Yeah. Zook Banger, Zook. Char Supercharger is the uh, mint one. Zook uh, Slingshot is the vanilla, the golden vanilla. And then Zook Decked is the vanilla blackberry crumble. Thank you, That's Christian. So $5. He said, sorry, it's not more, but I need to get a trust. That's totally understandable. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Christian. Shout out to Mist. So the blackberry crumble, Mike. I think, I think it, it's a little bit too overpowering on the blackberry. Yes, it's intense. That's why I like blackberry, but I think it's a little. If you're like love blackberry vapes, you're gonna love this one. Yeah. For me, it's for me. It's not that it's overpower. It is overpowering, but I like it too. But I vaped so much Las Vegas, the blackberry, that if you vape a lot of blackberry, you just get sick of it. So maybe it's that's what it is. But for me, I like the uh, Zook Banger and the Supercharger. Those two right there out of the four are like top dog for me. What do you think, Mark? I have not tried the Blackberry one because I only have one RDA going. But I'll take your word on it. I don't do Blackberry, but I will say these two vanilla ones are delicious. I figured you'd love the golden vanilla. You try the cinnamon? Yep. Cinnamon fucking off the hook. Oh, yeah. I've been mixing those two together. They're really good. But the vanilla is good, too. But I, for some reason, the cinnamon together with the vanilla, I like it better. And, and thank God the cinnamon is not overpowering. Yeah. It seems like like the vanilla one is basically all three of them, but exception that they put blackberry crumb and, and mint in another one and cinnamon in another one. Now, I vaped almost 60 mils of Blackberry last night. Woo! God damn! How do you vape 60 mils a night? Mike said he loved this, and I want to tell you, you guys know that Charger, the original Charger, is like my all day, every day. I love that flavor. This is Charger, but with vanilla in it. It's a vanilla mint, and I have it in two things right now. I have it with the truss in the billet box, and I also have it in the Aegis Boost, and it is banging. It is yeah. a perfect combo. It's smooth and silky and minty and fresh. It's delicious. I like it. Really good. Yeah, it's tasty. Hell yeah. If you like mint. If you don't like mint. Rick Mortis has the whole line. Sounds good. Yeah, it's a good line. Just like the PKG. The PKG line, I think, was... It's hard to find a line that all the liquids are good. Yep. PKG is good. The Zook is fucking good too. The whole line, no doubt. Oh, the, you know what I actually tried? <clears throat> My wife's been vaping uh, the PKG stuff. She likes New York, and she loves Miami. The Miami one. That's the one I never tried. So I tried it for the first time. I actually like it. That's the one that I thought I wouldn't like because of melons, but it's got more watermelon. Mm -hmm. I thought it was more like cantaloupe, mm -mm. stuff like that. It's not. The Miami was actually pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, let's see. It's Charger, Anilla, Killa Mix. Yes. And I love Nilla Killa to begin with, so add Charger to that, and it's it's on point. It's definitely awesome. Some people love mint, and some people don't like mint. You know what I mean? It depends on the person. I like it. I, I like for direct lung, I don't like, like menthols. I can't do direct lung. Mouth to lung, I love it. Mint is almost like that menthol feeling, but it's different. Yeah. But this one here, it's not overpowered with too much mint. It's just right. Smooth, uh, right? And they also come in a mouth to lung line. 
So if you want MTL, this is 18 milligrams. Yep. All the flavors we talked about, you can get in MTL, 18 milligrams. So there you go. Perfect. Try to my tongue. Any new uh, products for? Uh, uh, other than the Anakin stuff? The, no, I don't think. There's supposed to be Anakin mod. And World Kit. I think... What's tomorrow, Friday? Mm-hmm. I think tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. We're supposed to be getting the new Caliburn Cocoa. Oh, the Prime, Prime. thing? Mm. They named it Caliburn Cocoa Prime. That's the name of the drive. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Sounds like a Transformer. Yeah. Imagine trying to search for UL Caliburn Cocoa. It's going to come up with either the Caliburn or the Cocoa. It's going to be such a fucking... I should just call it the Prime. It sounds like a beverage, like an alcoholic beverage. I'll have uh, two Caliburn Cocoa Primes, please. It's got to be the worst name ever. Yep. Um, because it's Halloween this weekend, I have a couple Halloween questions, if you guys don't mind. Do you mind a- answering some questions? Let her rip. Mike? Say it again? What? I have some Halloween questions, because it's Halloween this weekend. Oh, okay. Um, I want to ask the panel. This, I, have, I have three questions. The first one is... If now, had, are these questions from you or from Amy? These are from me with my handwriting. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is not Amy. <laughs> this is me. Give me a list of, you can give me one, two, or three of your favorite scary movies for this time of year. Mm. Shit. Look, you want three movies? You can do one, two, or three. Whatever oh, you there's think. three. There's three movies that are like, for me growing up for Halloween. Obviously, Halloween. The movie Halloween. Michael Myers. Which is an epic of all time. Okay. Uh, obviously, it's going to be uh, Friday the 13th movies. Yeah. Jason. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Fucking love that. <laughs> then there's Freddy Krueger, baby. Those are the ones for me that's when I think of Halloween, I think of those three movies, you know. The fourth would be maybe like Scream or something like that. Right. You know, but it's mainly it's uh, those are the movies right there. And for me, Nightmare on Elm Street, though, was never a horror movie. That was more, for me, a comedy movie. I thought Freddy Krueger was fucking hilarious. It was He was hilarious. The first one, he was definitely more intense. And it wasn't, I mean, there were some funny parts, but it got a little fucking ridiculous as we went on. Yeah. You know. Uh, we got the donations. Dakota Simon, two ninety nine. Thank you very much. Have you guys tried synthetic nicotine e liquid yet? Have not. Oh my God, Ivan said one of Mark's reviews. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, good. buddy. The last one definitely. <laughs> that was a good one. Have you guys tried synthetic nicotine e liquid yet? No. Heard heard about it. Never I tried it though. I could have sworn I have, but like a while ago though. But I don't it, remember what it was. It has been out for a long time. I don't know why it's just now coming around. Uh, Bearded Vapor 499, he said, I just put my order in on Hit That Juice. Happy birthday, Mike. You don't look a nice. day over 30. Thank you, brother. There we go. Thank you. And oh, something... Don't look at the grays. I actually dye my hair gray. I like that two-tone look. I like the salt and pepper look, Mike. Thank you. Yeah, you're a beautiful man. Thank you. Uh, Southern Comfort, $2. Fagan Chainsaw Massacred. That's his favorite movie. Mark, what are your favorite? Um, I hate Freddy Krueger. I don't know why, but I always thought Freddy were just, I don't know. It's, it's gotta be like Halloween from uh, Rob Zombie or F- Friday the 13th. And actually Halloween, I found out from uh, Ben, <clears throat> there's a new, uh, Friday the 13th coming out on Halloween called, uh, Voorhees. Oh, really? Coming out. Yeah. And it's, you could actually watch it online. Uh, Saturday comes oh, out. Oh shit! Sweet. Yeah, I know yeah, people in the chat are saying, "What about this movie?" But I, I could just sit there and name a whole bunch of movies. But for me, growing up, those were like the three. You know, I've seen them all back then. I don't really watch horror movies anymore. No, not as That's much. The, the, the world's to. become a lot more like a horror movie, and it's scarier than any movie you could watch. Exactly. Uh, Southern Comfort, two dollars. He said, "I don't always." But when I do, I. 
<laughs> All right, so the Exorcist, I, yes, DC, I, I agree. I picked a movie that I love watching in October during the Hall- Halloween season. I love The Shining with Jack Nicholson. That's a good. One. I could watch that movie a thousand times. It is just an ultimate. It's got. It's got some jump scares, and but it's more of like a psychological thriller. But if you haven't seen The Shining, Stanley Kubrick, it's just an all-time classic. It's amazing. Shelley Duvall, Jack Nicholson. And, What's um, the movie that was released not too long ago that was like a I, part two of that or like a spinoff of it or something? I didn't watch that with Ewan McGregor. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I, I never pretty, watched it. Pretty interesting. But the original I love. I also love, um, obviously, Halloween. And there's two movies that are sort of different. Uh, there's a movie called Event Horizon that was amazing. It was like a sci-fi movie, but it was horror. I love that. And also a movie called In the Mouth of Madness. I thought it was really good from back in the day. So I forgot about that movie. I actually got reminded of that movie because I actually sat today and listened. actually watched and listened to the podcast Joe Rogan with uh, Alex Jones. Yes. And that comedian. <laughs> I don't know. I love listening to Alex Jones, man. That dude cracks me up. He should do stand-up comedy. That dude is drunk off his ass. Oh, my God. He's fucking hilarious. Did you watch that or listen to it? Yes. Yep. He was hammered. Oh, yeah. Completely hammered. I fucking love watching it. I think he might have a a problem from the way it seemed. Well, towards the end, he was saying how he wants to quit it all. Yeah. Even doing the... He wants to just... He's saying he's going to die of a heart attack very soon, he keeps saying. Yeah. Did he used to be on uh, whatever <clears throat> whatever station that is, and then he got booted from it or something? Oh, he got he got banned off of YouTube. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is, YouTube? YouTube, okay. uh, I think Twitter or Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, yeah it's, it's a good one. Whenever I, whenever I see that, I mean, this is, I, I never saw the first one. He was on because I think this is the third time he's been on Rogan. But the second one, the one that he did a year, what was it about a year, or a year and a half ago, something like that. I watched that Joe Rogan uh, podcast twice. I actually watched it, and that was like a four hour long. So I did like eight hours of watching there on that one. I don't know. I enjoy it, dude. His energy is off the chain. Yeah, yeah, makes you wonder. And the fucked up part is the shit that he says. They're fact check, checking him, and it's all true. Yeah, it's like you think what he's saying is so ridiculous, but it's not. It's actually true. Yeah. That's the scary part. Um, favorite Halloween candy. Do you have a favorite miss, Halloween candy, Mike? I miss popcorn balls. Popcorn favorite balls. Halloween candy? I don't know. I can't really name one. I don't know. So if there was a big basket of candy and there was all different things, Twix and Kit Kats, and you had to pick one that would be your go-to, what would it be? I'm not sure. No? Maybe like Almond Joy. Ooh, Almond Joy. Oh, one of those, uh, what do you call the peppermint? Uh, York, York peppermint patty? York peppermint patty. I would go for a York peppermint patty. That's what I would go for first. What about you, Mike, or Mark? Popcorn ball. I haven't seen those actually in a while. I don't know if they still make them. Dude, did you get popcorn balls from people's houses? Yes. A popcorn ball is like in a, it's like a, they come in a plastic, it's like a big ball, like the size of a baseball. Yeah, but And that- they're like glazed popcorn like just rolled into a ball in a plastic bag like sealed anybody in chat remember popcorn balls i remember them yeah they're they were the best it just seems like the kind of thing that a person at their house would make and then wrap it themselves yeah i don't think you could i don't know if you could make i've never had homemade ones hmm. they're always like store-bought ones but if what? i have to really? do something like more com or more modern probably um reese's mm. you know what i enjoy uh also is um uh... Raisinets. Ooh. Chocolate covered Raisins. Raisinets. And what about the Reese's? The ones that look like M&M's, but they're Reese's? Oh, Reese's Pieces. 
Is that what they're called? Reese's Pieces? Yeah, from E.T.? Yeah, the, not the cupcakes. The no, cupcakes. they're like little hard candies that have peanut butter in them. Yes, I love... I could eat those, too. Yeah, Reese's Pieces are really good. Yeah. But I stay away from all that shit. I have in years. Yeah. You can always tell who has young kids, because when they come into work, they always have their kids stash. <laughs> Stealing all their kids' candy. Yeah. The funny part was my wife had... Uh, all that stuff that we're talking about. Uh-huh. Yeah, and she actually packed up uh, inside Ziploc bags. And put all the candies in Ziploc bags. So this way, she could just hand the trick-or-treaters Ziploc bags, the candies inside. I remember when I was a kid, this one lady, or actually a few places, used to hand out, like, pennies rolled up in tinfoil. And usually it'd be, like, 10 or 20 pennies, and they'd just roll them up in tinfoil and drop them in your bag. Uh-huh. Yep. What about the houses that gave the full size candy bar? Mm, those were nice. You, every you kid had, go You know, to when you were young, you had the, that house marked. Yep. yep. I had my marked houses that I was going to go to because I knew they they give the good stuff. The good stuff. Like yeah. full size Snickers or, yeah. They went all out. But back in the day, there wasn't like king size stuff. You know, it was like single, single serving. Yep. As Mike likes all the candies I used to trade first. You know what else I really enjoy? Snickers bars. Yeah, Snickers At one good. point, I used to be a, f- a fiend for Milky Ways. Mm. I'm not a big I've fan. Got, of I've, I love all of those chocolate bars, everything. Uh, Kit Kats, I love Kit Kats mm. and Reese's in the, fr- in the fridge, cold, to eat them. Oh, so Ooh, Boston Baked Beans, those are really good, too. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Necco Wafers. <clears throat> No. What the hell are those? They're the things that everyone trades and gives away. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can buy popcorn bowls at Walmart. I'm fucking going to Walmart. Yeah. Here we go. All right. We got an agenda tonight. It is 9 or 10.52. So check out Hit That Juice for all your vaping needs. Use code AMYRELISH10. Intake mouth to lungs are in stock and going fast, so check them out. Oh, also, also, next week I will have the Druga... RTAs on Hit That Juice. Sweet. Druga RTAs next week. Um, real quick, also, since we didn't have a show last week because of the Eagles game, uh, Mark had a birthday also. Mark, Fapen Fagan. Happy birthday, Mark. Thank you. Happy thank birthday. you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday to oh, you. No, no, no. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy uh, birthday, was, birthday uh, dear Mark. Dear like, Fark Megan. Two weeks ago. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When's your birthday, Brian? Not for a long time. Next year? Yep. Uh, We have a message for the week. The message for the week is don't eat candy unless it's in a wrapper. Also, make sure you vote. And um, we got some shout-outs to random members. So there's members in the group, and we're going to give a shout-out to them. Uh, Mike Ayers. Freddy Krueger. Stella Kin. Uh, Spy Durr. <laughs> Ghost. No, I think that's something else. Ghost. Uh, and there's somebody by the name of Drac Eula. Drac Eula. And we got a donation. Vaping Bachelor, $2. Mark enjoys a chocolate filled Black Keith. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> that would be a cream filled, not a chocolate filled. Thank you. Loves that cream. We got some squirrels tonight. We have the trick or treat squirrels. Trick or treat squirrels. Somebody donated earlier, so they might have a better chance, according to Mark. Da, 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 da. So let me ask you this: What do you think people should do if they win? I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to contact Amy Relish COO at Gmail dot com with their name, their address, their telephone number, and a picture of a photo ID in the subject line of the email. You need to put any can winner. And you need to have a photo ID because this is for adults only. This is an adults only show. Vaping is for adults only. Wherever you live, you need to prove that you're of legal vaping age. And you need to contact where I said before. Three winners. The number is 72. Thanks to Living Hints. And uh, Mark is going to use the random comment picker and pick them. Here we go. 72. Paul Shelton. Paul Shelton. How are we doing? Congratulations. Three. Three. All right. Number two. 
for 72. Da, 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 da. Just flat out Christian. C H R I S T I A N. Christian, congratulations. Congrats. And number three. Wow, we got two in a row. That was fucking too easy. Ah, there we go. 69, 74. We need a 72. 72. Uh, I'm going to say Jack X, J A K K X. Congratulations, Jack X. There you go. There's three. Congratulations, Jack X. And uh, also, I wanted to give a huge shout out to the picture on the thumbnail tonight, if anyone's wondering, is the beautiful service dog from Kenneth Booth. And his name is Oink. It's a beautiful Oink. service pupper. And uh, this is Oink, and he's on the thumbnail. Oh, he looks cute as hell. Cute as hell. Look at that. That is a nice looking dog. That is a nice looking dog. On the thumbnail, too. It's a huge shout out. Yep. There we go. There we go. I have more Halloween questions if you want, Mike. Go ahead. Shoot. Okay, I'll shoot. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Favorite Halloween costume when you were a kid? Yeah. Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees, baby. Yeah. Now, did you have the knife and the uh, the Everything. onesie? The Everything. Whole, yeah. The whole gear? The whole thing. Nice. Yep. How about you, Mark? I'm going to have to agree with uh, Mike Jason. I love the ski mask or hockey mask. Hockey mask. Now, did you guys use real hockey masks or were they like store bought? Store bought. Fake cheap ones. I had the, like the, the butcher knife, even though it was plastic. It was the easiest costume and the, the coolest costume. I back can't then. wait to hear Brian's. <laughs> you do not know. Already... No, 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 no. <laughs> the one I remember the most because I was grateful and I was also traumatized. I was Freddy Krueger, right? But in my house, you didn't get everything you wanted. So I got the mask, which was like a subpar mask. But I, I didn't get the sweater. So my mom gave me a green and blue striped sweater. <laughs> so, so it didn't match. And I couldn't get the glove. So she <laughs> took a, a like a baseball glove, you know, like a golfing glove. And they cut holes in the end and put markers oh in God. the tips with aluminum foil wrapped around to make it look like oh marker God. knives. And I have pictures of me at school with this sweater that didn't match. With... So you were the Irish Freddy Krueger. Yes, I was the... <laughs> Good day, <night>, mate. <laughs> Fuck the prime time, bitch. Mothers are always good for, like, making up cheesy costumes. But I remember it, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rod Re-SQ says, I remember last year's Halloween show was hilarious as fuck. When you all dressed as Mark. <laughs> yep. I remember that. Yep. I'm surprised we didn't do that this year, anything. We didn't dress up. Not yet. No, nope. Not yet. No, nope. we have a little bit of time left in the show. We still have two minutes. No, we're we dress up. Up. I actually have, well, you guys have seen this before, but. Uh-oh, he's got a costume. Dude, I totally forgot about Halloween. And it's all not that. a costume, but it's. Oh. Look at that, huh? Yeah. That's actually pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's cool. Nope. But the things, it's sort of coming apart. It's a couple years old now. Yep. It was always really hard to find like a really accurate Thank you, Tor. Jason mask. Yeah. You going trick or treating? Oh, come on. Thank you, Living Hints, so much. $72. Thank you. When I was a kid during Halloween, I was a bat boy in the movie The Warriors. Dude, there the movie go. The Warriors is awesome. Yep. Warriors, come out and play. Yay. That was a good, great movie. There was a video game for The Warriors, too, that was made by Rebellion, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was I good. I remember that. It was good. It was underappreciated. I think it was a really good game, though. If you guys like video games from, I think, Xbox 360 era, maybe? It was The Warriors video game. Oh, did you watch any of the videos from... Uh... I guess uh, a lot of the people got the uh, new Xbox and the new PlayStation. You mean the gameplay or the unboxings? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't watched any yet. 
I watched a couple of them. Impressed with any of them? Yeah, I mean, I'm not as excited for this console generation as much as I was for previous ones. Mm. Only because it seems like we're jumping up to 4K, we're jumping up to, which everyone's been expecting a solid 60 frames per second for years now. And I just feel like a lot of the games are going to be not, the generational jump is not going to be as drastic as it was. Like when PlayStation and Xbox first came out, it was like your jaw dropped because there was a clear generational difference in the smoothness, the frame rate. You could tell like the there, there was more like you could see grass. You could see like I remember playing Halo for the first time and I looked at a tree and it actually had bark on it. You know, like little little details like that. And then Xbox to Xbox 360 was a huge jump. I don't feel that after Xbox 360 and PlayStation 2, uh, no, PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4 was that big of a jump. And I don't no. think this generation is going to be that big of a jump either. Right, right. Definitely not. What I've been excited, I've been watching all the videos on the new graphics cards. Mm-hmm. The 30 series by NVIDIA. Yeah. A lot of bang for your buck. Mark, you should be interested in this one. The new uh, graphics card, the 3070. Mm-hmm. Not a TI, nothing like that. 3070 is actually just as fast as your graphics card. That's you why I hate yours, computers. Yours costed you like twelve, fourteen hundred dollars something like that. The new 3070 is uh, 500 That's why I hate computers. Because the shit just gets old like the next day. Something better and cheaper comes out. Oh, I hate computers. $500. Yep. It's crazy but value. 3080 is like destroys the 2080 ti it's 700 i mean when i was a kid i used to be really into computer gaming and i would beg my mom to buy me like a graphics card this was like back when like computers were like just you could start changing out the graphics card and it was the same deal like i buy a graphics card and then like a month later like the new better one would come out oh that's why i hate now uh, i guess uh, amd's got their graphics cards which are on par or even better than nvidia's cards wow they're coming out it's gonna be crazy so this uh these new uh graphics cards for pcs for people that are interested in pcs right now you're getting the best bang for your buck uh torola he gave uh 50 dollars he said when i was a kid we didn't have halloween here Man, I miss those days. <laughs> Not a fan of Halloween, I guess. In North <laughs> Korea, right? Yeah, North Korea. North Korea. Yep. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I'm I'm like tempted to. Uh, yes, Dane, I watched all the uh, AMD stuff yesterday. Yep, yep. But uh, I'm tempted to build another PC. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm good with this. Until you're not. I know I'm not. I know how you get. Nah, nah. We'll see. Maybe ne- next year. Maybe in that I February time, year. when you when you redo the room, maybe it'll be time to redo a computer. Next year. When I say next year, I mean like January. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I might build a, a fucking a Ryzen, a, all Ryzen AMD system. Even the new chips, the new Ryzen chips are supposed to be really good. That are coming out. The CPUs. Hard yeah. to keep up. I just hope that the, all the games that are made are not made down to the level of the consoles, that they don't optimize for the, the high-end PCs. You know what I mean? There's, there's always the lowest common denominator that things get really tuned in for. You know, I want to see things this generation with much, much better physics, much better depth in the actual... Like, I don't, I don't just want, like, storefronts. I want, like, every single store to have depth to it. I want walls to have, like, real wood depth and real physics of, of the materials. I want the, the things to break apart accurately and actually have the stuff stay on the ground. The, I want the dust and everything. I, I just want an improvement in, in all the real deep stuff in the worlds, not just like the surface cleanliness of the way it looks. You know? Broke as much as he can't wait to get the new Ryzen CPU. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, by the way, thank you everybody so much for all the donations tonight. That was like incredibly generous and and fucking awesome. So, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I think we're we're done. We're done. We're done. We are done. Yep. We are done.
Yeah, I don't think I'm getting the new PlayStation or an Xbox. Not launch? Do you think you'll get it after it comes out for a little while? I don't even think I'll, I'll, I'll even get them. No. Uh, Just PC? It, I think I'm going to stick with just playing it on the PC. Yeah. PK. I haven't, even, I haven't even played any of like Call of Duties. I haven't played like Call of Duty, for example, in a while. You've been doing adult stuff. Been too busy the game. Patrick King said he'll buy your old he'll buy your old new computer when you build your new one. <laughs> there you go. There you go, PK. Thank you. Yep. It's right there. See. It? Bam. Good evening, Cloud Shucker. By the way, if anyone's looking for any mods or anything or any computer stuff, Mark usually throws it out by the curb. Yep. yep. So make sure you Come check. Come by on a Monday morning, about six a.m. You'll find it all. Yep. E-liquid, vape gear, computers, TV. Actually, I got a TV that I'm actually about to throw out. A Samsung LED TV. Nothing's wrong with it. The one that actually used to hang right there. The only reason I'm getting rid of it is because I don't have the stand for it anymore. Out in the trash it goes. Well, I'll probably drop it off at the, the thrift store because it's perfectly working. It just doesn't have a stand. Dude, put it on Craigslist, then. I don't think no I mean, it's not probably worth anything. It's a 720p TV. 50 bucks. Yeah, I'd rather just drop it off at the thrift store. For thrift free. Store. Offer it for free. Give it or or drop it off. Yeah, that's gonna drop. I, we live like two blocks from the thrift store, so I just yeah. drop it off there. I could drop my bat, my old batteries off there. Yeah. There you go. All right, everybody. We will see you same vape time, same vape channel next week on the vape team. Thanks for watching. Thank Bye. you. Later, later, everyone. Bye. Bye. I, don't, I sell gifts, Patrick. I don't throw them out. Your fucking story. The minute outro begins now. Therion battery doors. Those were very, a very hot item back then. I don't have one. I have a Therion, but I don't have the, the, the door. Use duct tape. If you can't fix it, fuck it, duck it.